Hey guys, welcome back to another Asphalt 8 multiplayer test. Today, I have the Nissan GTR R35 tuned to 1410. My tuning is max 5555, and the pro kits are 0112. So, if you remember from like years ago, I said this car was a cheap multiplayer vehicle, and it was. It was actually pretty good, and it was relatively cheap. And as of now, it is still quite cheap. It's 750,000 credits, I believe. And it's at rank 1499, so it technically is a part of the 1500 rank range. But mine's was sitting at 1392, and I figured, hey, could I tune it to 1410? And so I did. This car costs around 1 mil- no, not, not around. It costs exactly 1 million fusion coins to pro. I have it pro now. And in this race, we're right behind that KTM Expo GTX. Now, the GTR is from the launch of Asphalt 8. And so, it performs like a launch car. Its acceleration is kind of lacking. But it's pretty good if you can stay alive. I mean, you can see, we go 234 miles an hour. That is about 4 miles an hour slower than the 1410 cars. And that's faster than the Atoms. And that's what's important. Because the Atom is so common at 1410. If you're not faster than, faster than them, or at least not as fast as them, you will suffer. And that's also boosted by the fact that 1410s don't really have good acceleration. Atoms will be the best accelerating vehicle in most races. And as you can see, we beat all those Atoms, but lost to the KTM Expo. Actually got demoted while testing this car. On to the next race. We have um, an Italizine Da Vinci. We have RPM Ming Z in his Chevrolet Camaro SS, which he's also tuned to 1410. It's a different tune from what I have, because he had an older multiplayer tune on his car. So... As you can see, the acceleration did not help us. We're still in ninth, and now it's just time to play catch up. Obviously, since a lot of these cars aren't 1410, it's just catch up for me. You can see there's an Adam right there. He's going a lot slower than me, so I passed them both. And up front is the Da Vinci. Slowly but surely, I'm catching him. You can see there. I don't know why that guy put the Da Vinci, because it's just like it's just a car that was added, but then immediately forgotten about. So there, I kind of crushed him. Oh, no, that was a Hyundai i30N. There is the Da Vinci now. So now I get in front of the Da Vinci. In front of me, I believe, is a Adam and MZ Camaro. I know MZ wins the race, but I don't know who's in second. But as you can see, I have a close battle with this here, a Tell Design Da Vinci. And with that, we get a third place finish. A downgrade from the prior, you know, first, no, second place finish. But yeah, we lost the MZ's Camaro and the Resvani Beast X tuned to this rank. Interesting. On to the next race on Market Square. We don't really have any 1410s in this race, just Adams. And as you can see, I swerve out of the way because if I don't, they would murder me. Adams are very, very aggressive, and that's why I don't like this rank. However, they are very, very light. So it kind of evens out. They're really aggressive, but they can be killed within like five seconds. So yeah. Again, my higher speed is coming to play as I slowly but surely catch this Adam up here. He did accelerate faster than me, but because he's going 6 miles an hour slower than me, I just, you know, get past him relatively easily. Well, that was until he stole the Nitro. I can't do much without Nitro. And with that, he is slowly but surely pulling ahead. I missed every possible Nitro bottle, and it was very annoying. But he's an Adam. Of course, he'll do something stupid. There you go, see? Adam drivers are not the smartest. But if he had just kept his car clean, he would have won. That's just an issue with the GTR. It's Nitro is not the greatest. And its acceleration is not the greatest either. But if I get ahead like I just did, I'm winning. They ain't catching me. First place. Beating out that Adam and a bunch of other vehicles. Including a DeLorean. Huh, didn't know there was a 410 in the race. The DeLoreans are just forgettable. On to the next race, King's Highway. We have the Da Vinci and a bunch of Adams. And, um, yeah, KTM Expo knocked me down. Be ready for that if you do tune this car here. Now, remember, this car is really cheap to tune. One million Fusion Coins to Pro. It's like like it's like it's around 100,000 Fusion Coins to tune it here. Obviously, you have to max it, too. But still, that's really cheap for a 1410 vehicle. And it's not like this car is totally dead either. Like I said, it's faster than the Atom. And as you can see, even though I got knocked down, I am just getting past these slower cars absurdly easily. Past that Da Vinci. Past the DeLorean. 
Don't know what the DeLorean is doing, but he is there. Now I'm in fifth, despite being knocked down. Any other car, if you knock down an Adam at the start of the race, he ain't catching up. He's screwed. Because everyone else is in Adams. They're going the same speed as him. How is he supposed to catch up? Now, obviously, you still have to keep Nitro in this car. His Nitro duration is not the best, but it's not that bad either. Sam is also not really that good, but I'll talk about that towards the end of the race. Or end of the video. Which will be the next race, because this is a five-race video. So I'm slowly but surely catching up to this Adam. I run out of Nitro at the worst possible time. I needed Nitro. I did not get the Nitro. It's kind of annoying that this car just dies with Nitro efficiency. And yeah, as we come to the end, because the GTR's handling is not really that great, I can't do anything to catch that Adam. And so the Adam wins the race. Or no, he gets second. He beats me. I believe another Adam won the race, or the KTM won the race. Nope, another Adam won the race. I did beat a Boxer, a Zeruno, and the KTM Expos. On to the next race, on Sector 8. We have MZ in his Camaro again, and a bunch of random cars again, including a Donkervort and a DS E tent for some reason. This ain't Asphalt 9, bro. Um, you're in the wrong game. As you can see, my top speed comes to play again as I start passing cars like they are nothing. This car does simulate like old Asphalt 8 feeling when you use it because you, you just pass cars. It's so fun to pass them. But it's also annoying because you could also just not pass them at all. And again, this is Sector 8, which is not really a track for this car. Like I said, it's an original car, so it has kind of bad drifting and handling. It's a really wide drifter. It, it is a really wide drifter. It's kind of annoying. But as you can see, I'm now in fourth place. In front of us is MZ and his Camaro. And I believe two Adams. Or maybe one Adam in some other car. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. But 1.14.10 is ahead of us. Well, not really. It's just, it's just one tune fourteen ten. Yep, two Adams. So I can't do anything to them. I just don't drift good enough. Oh, it's a 370Z SE in an Adam. The Adam got past the 370Z. I tried to pass the 370Z SE myself, and then he wrecked. So I technically did pass him. So there we go. Third place, losing to MZ's Camaro, an Adam, and that 370Z if he did not wreck. Unfortunately for him, he did wreck. Also, somehow, an unboosted Donkervort beat him on to the final race of the video on iceland reverse we have adams um i believe mc is in this race with race with his camaro and you know yeah there's mz and i got knocked down by a cla so should you tune the gtr here if you're on an insanely tight budget yeah you should this car actually could do decently here it, it, it will get you to pro league i believe if you can just stay alive at the start the same thing goes for when it's fully max proed it can do it, but you have to be careful not to die at the start because it has like a four second acceleration, which is kind of slow. No, not kind of. It's really slow against the other 1500 cars. And, you know, that's kind of fair trade off because, like I said, this is 1 million fusion coins to pro. But personally, fusion coins aren't that hard to get. So I would just say you should bite the bullet and add that 1.6 million fusion coin cost to pro the f50 or something that has good acceleration also this car has four pro kit levels which is also why it's slightly cheaper it's it's got cheaper costs and it has four four pro kit levels so as you can see despite the knockdown i have clawed back two positions i'm now in sixth as opposed to dead last and it's it's iceland so it's a long track i should be able to catch up and do i you'll have to see later on well, you, not really later on. There's not much left to see. So you can see one Adam wrecked. There's a KTM Expo GT4 in front of us. Oh, and there goes an Adam. So now it's just the KTM Expo. Who is still slower than me? Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like it if you enjoy. And as you can see, I had enough with the GTR and I just wrecked the Adam. Yeah, I got demoted to Champion League while testing this car. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.